coach, what's kind of been your focus with J.D. and Jeremiah this spring? Well, I mean, the focus with all of them has been, you know, reaching their full potential, and specifically with those guys, um, continuing to get them guys um, high volume reps, opportunities for them to show that they can be those lead guys, which I seen that last year, you know, and, and carving out roles for them in different ways. We're going to get them the ball, um, you know, between well, all of them will have those opportunities, but obviously um, Jeremiah and, and 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 JD were the guys coming into the bowl game who took. I'm um, a fair amount, of, you know, followed by Jabron, who had, I think Jabron might have 18 plays in that game, too. So just really excited about, you know, those upper three guys, but also just really excited also about the two young guys. The guys are going to be real good. How much have Price and Love grown from from last year to, to this point, and obviously going to have a much bigger role now with Audrey Cox? Um, what well, a good thing about the way that we rotate the guys, everything that we're seeing now, it's not like, wow, I didn't see that before. Play them, we play all those guys so much, so the, the issues that need to be addressed, we're addressing those right now. Um, and those are few and far in between, you know, or they wouldn't have played last year. But just the growth mentally, the growth knowing that, okay, I'm going to have a, a bigger role in the grand scheme of an opportunity to carry the team, opportunity to highlight not only what they're about, what the room's about, and what the teachings are about, ultimately what the football program's about. So just excited for them guys. Jeremiah has shown, obviously, an explosiveness uh, on the field. Uh, what makes him so dynamic? What's allowed him to, to be that type of player? Well, I think just his level of comfortability at this point. You know, he's, he's, he's been here. He knows, you know, although it's a new offense, you know, so he's, he's done a great job of integrating into what the new offense is, um, understanding what his role is. He put on seven, eight pounds worth of muscle. Um, so that's been big for him, too. Now he's not only very fast and explosive, I mean, it's, it's sturdy, it's it got some girth to it, you know, so just excited about what he'll ultimately bring to the table, which should be pretty dynamic this season. Coach, Freeman talked about uh, you taking that um, assistant role under him. Mm -hmm. um, he also mentioned that you have, your next job after this may be a head coaching mm -hmm. job because you've grown that much and he sees that in you. Mm -hmm. I guess, what's your response to that when you hear the head coach speak to you that way, a guy that you've known for some time now? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what my goal was coming here. You know, I mean, it, I mean, this chronicle. There's been a lot of opportunities to to leave for what be considered lateral roles, or to me, a backwards role. Even if I'm going to the NFL, because I'm like, I've been in the NFL, I won the Super Bowl there already as a running back coach. So, um, being a, having an opportunity to be here in this type of environment with these type of players and coaches, and then obviously with the faith of the head coach to put me into that role, I want to make sure that I exhibit everything that needs to be exhibited in our role and continue to grow the program. Let's do one more for Coach. And I guess how does that, you know, how does, how do you, how does that help the running back? How does that help you guys as far as your leadership, knowing, you know, that that's the potential, that's the goal, but, you know, that you still have a job to do here? Yeah, well, they see it. I mean, those guys are exposed to some of the things that, you know, I've got to a point where I can show the whole team is just those leadership skills to make them better men on and off the field, you know, so... You know, the running backs are immersed into it as far as the details and how we do things and how we want to, you know, just operate on the continu on the continuously high level. Obviously, exhibit and being detailed, dependable, and disciplined at all times and in all aspects of our life. You know, so um, they get an opportunity to see it, you know, up close every day. But at the end of the day, we still want to go out there and do the things that take to win the game, and that's what we're gonna do.